Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2022. Yeah, we're back here in Elm Creek and uh, we've got the Elm Creek uh, drift going on. Oh, my God. That's not a great way to start this uh, this episode, but it is what it is, folks. Uh, it is the reality, especially when we're going from a really challenging uh, camera angle. So we are doing some uh, field work here. Uh, we do need to get this uh, field ready. And as you can see, we have a helper uh, doing a little mulching there for us. Uh, and we're probably going to uh, beat them at this case. Now, the other thing you'll notice, uh, we have stones. We're going to have to uh, deal with those. That is a sure thing. Although the stone picker is currently busy. Now, let's, while we're doing this, let's see if we can clean up this little naughty little patch due to my uh, totally uh, skilled driving skills. Um, there we go. I think that's better. We're good. Clean this up. Hey, dude. Um, well, I guess I shouldn't squawk too much. Um, you know, the, the helper doing the mulching missed a small patch, but... You know what? I, I, I really shouldn't um, throw uh, throw stones because uh, missed that little bit. Going to have to get it. Saw the little patch I had to fix. It is what it is. Whoa. Speaking of is what it is. Okay, don't go on to the canola field there, Sargon. Okay, we'll take this turn a little more easily here. Come in. There we go. Much better. Kind of like an aircraft pilot coming in for a landing. Initiated to go around. And we're all good now. Now, I do think we will throw this on to a helper here shortly. And go check on some other stuff that's going on around the farm. And we do have some other things to do. I do want to get these fields uh, fertilized. We are a tad low on fertilizer, but you know, something we can I think manage in the in the short term. But March is a very busy month here for us. Oop, it'd be even busier if I take out this guy's uh, home. Ooh. Okay, we're good. We're good. He might not be happy that I was on his grass, but it's fine, right? It's all good. Okay, so let's set this off on a worker. Now, we do have uh, this on a worker, but why don't we take over? Do a little bit of stone picking here ourselves. Do a few different chores. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of work uh, here in the spring to get our fields ready for seeding. And this is one of our key fields, because this is going to be a field that we are going to put sunflowers on. And you know what? I really have my eye on that field. Need to think of a way, but the best way to acquire that field before somebody rudely, looking at you, uh, decides to plant a crop, looking at you, on the field we're about to buy. And cotton is definitely not a field that is helpful to us at this stage. You know, there's pretty much any other crop we uh, could have bought. Although, let's be honest too, um, if I was still, well, we will eventually buy that field, but there is no immediate value in buying that uh, particular field. Oop, don't think I have it lowered. Let's get that down. There we go. But we had already, uh, thankfully, stone-picked uh, a few passes there, as you can tell. So not too bad, Oop. but uh, I got a little ahead of myself. So yeah, there's lots to do here. So let's jump into a very quick time-lapse and uh, finish uh, stone-picking this field.
I think what we'll do is we will throw this on a helper. And oh my goodness, help me. I really need to get uh, something to clean my uh, tractors off. We'll throw it on a helper. And then we'll hop over and take care of the tractor that has uh, finished uh, mulching. Yeah, so the mulching is now done. Definitely need to make sure we raise this up because that will wreak havoc on this farmer's yard for sure. Yeah, we're going to have to get the stone picker over to that field as well. Lots of work on the farm here this month. You know, it makes me really wish I had a fourth tractor. Uh, <laughs> But uh, we do need to upgrade, uh, but might be worthwhile selling the Massey Ferguson here, getting a little bit of money. Um, but yeah, that's something we're going to have to look at for sure. I think what we can do, I don't normally park much in here, but let's do that. Let's leave the mulcher right there. What we can do now is go pick up uh, the fertilizer. Now we have a bit of fertilizer here on the farm. See how much is left in this bag. We're at uh, 32% and we're at 38. Okay, so, hmm, this is not a, a lot of fertilizer. We are going to be in a tad bit of trouble. Although maybe what we should do first while waiting for all those other fields to finish. Let's park this. I'll leave it here for now. Let's go grab the plow and fix up uh, this field. This is a result of basically when we were, I'm gonna turn on, I believe. Yeah, allow create fields. Oop, there we go. Well, replacing the cow barn and then doing a little bit of landscaping. Uh, it was winter time. I wasn't paying attention, but basically, yeah, we ended up getting this. Now I did try fixing this with the landscaping tools, but I could not figure anything out. Mm, need to come back a little. Uh, so I think the, o the only way I know how to fix this, just like with the grass field I did over in front here was to get the plow out. So if anybody knows of a different way, uh, just in case, not that I plan on doing this again, but just in case this happens again, if there's a better better way of doing this, would love to know. Just come in here and grab the corner. Now we can always touch up where the, the path goes not too worried about that. But yeah, just like is that we can fix. But uh, I do want to make sure the entire field is, you know, there's no little gray spots of stone or whatever uh, this this particular texture is. Now we will rotate. There we go. We can go a little beyond. There we go. Speed up after lifting the plow. It's a little bit of a trick there. And we can come speeding along. As you can see that we'll get that little bit there, just passing. Be oop. Because I can't, you know, the OCD in me, what little I have or what yeah, I do have a bit of OCD. So we don't want any of that. But we can quickly get this part of the field plowed before we get the rest cultivated, which I think we'll get done this episode. But the cultivator won't touch this as we found out previously. And as you saw, we had to turn on create new field because it uh, destroyed it from being recognized. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go, I'll get that little. Destroyed it from being recognized as a field, so 
Let's just get this all fixed up. So I went from having this plow for like forever, not having used it, got it on a good sale, to now having uh, used it in back-to-back -back episodes. And we will need to use this again once we finish harvesting the canola field. Well, there is, because there is no point at this point in time to plow that little patch there. Not going to plant anything, and I don't want to risk damaging any more of the canola field. Lower this down. So getting a little better using this. Now, one thing is you can back up. It doesn't do any plowing. So as soon as you go forward again, just want to get that little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, and we just need to come, before I forget, this little bit right here. Just need to come and snag it, get rid of it. There we go. All nice and fixed. And now we can get on to uh, the fertilizing. What we're going to do is actually take over from the helper here, which we've already done, and take credit for uh, finishing off this. No, no, the, the worker did the bulk of this field. But there's just, just this little strip here, and we will go along uh, the headland right there to fix that bit up as well while we're here. Let's go to the end. Try to avoid going into the creek. But yeah, we want to have this field as productive as possible. So of course, getting these little patches. We can also go around uh, the headland of our former wheat field, get that started. And then, probably then, yeah, I imagine then, we'll get on to uh, the fertilizing. But since this was wrapping up, we might as well get it done. And we should also have a look-see on how the stone picker is doing over there. Looks like they might be done, but they're in the middle of the field, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But we need to get this this done here. Make sure we get along the edge. We're good. You know, one day we'll own that field as well, but today is not that day. But it would be good to have, that's for sure. A little bit of odd shaped. Which, technically, interesting, but also a little frustrating to manage. Now, we don't necessarily, we don't technically need to cultivate this, what we've just plowed. But we'll just stand around the track, going around the headland as we watch the, the train go by. This last little bit here, I think what we can actually do is this is where we can turn on the worker. There we go. Just doing a quick check in on the stone picker and we're making progress. They're almost done. So with that, we'll hop into this tractor with the uh, fertilizer. And need to avoid bombing it over the canola field. This is not the tractor with the uh, narrow tires. 
That is, I believe, the tractor with the front loader. So I think we can quickly get this one done. Just making sure, yeah, we're on full distribution. And it's one of the things I, I'm just, you know, I, I know I've mentioned it in the past that I'm really looking forward to, or would really love to see, I should say, is a little icon right next to the upper left tractor. When you've got a machine like this, that it actually shows the, uh, the width that you're throwing something at or whatever information you need. But definitely that for like this type of fertilizer and maybe a lime machine as well. Because it is frustrating to have to go into the menu and have a look. I know, first world farming problems here, get it. But it's the only reason why I'm turning on the help menu is cases like that, just to make sure I'm not starting off too, too wide or too narrow. Finding it like, you know, fully lost than three bears. That porridge that is just right. Which is usually the full blow, the full throw here. But as you can see, we're going to tighten that up. As we go into the creek. But yeah, we're going to tighten it up as we do this last little bit. So I'll do a bit of guessing. Probably just need to bring it down to, which is what I did. Yeah, let's turn it on. You can see I shrunk it by two. And we're doing fine there. Oh, as I get a little too cocky. Always the way. Always the way when I'm... Uh, doing something like that. Okay, we need to preserve as much fertilizer as possible. We're down to 28%. So let's ho head over to our sunfield. Our sunflower field, I should say. This shouldn't take more than two passes, hopefully, as we try to get as cheeky as we can with the edge. And I, and I think we're good as I feel though we're beginning to drift. Nice, beautiful spring day, thankfully, for all this field work. Yeah, odd shape. Now, one of the things that we'll have to decide at some point is, do we keep this odd shape? Do I expand the field? Do I shrink that up a bit? Uh, do I save it for a production? Some options here. Not exactly sure what's the best one going forward. But we'll figure it out. Hey, dude! What's going on, my friend? Did you go back over stuff that you already done? Wow, that's, uh, that's... That is very cheeky. Just grab this little bit. There we go. Hop into the stone picker. Okay, it's not because you're full. You're at 83%. Okay, um, well, we'll finish your job over here. So you got most of it done, but you decided no, you are done. It's not too much, but yeah, just a little frustrating. Now you'll notice the texture is changing. It's not pulling up the fertilizer. Thank goodness. That would be very frustrating. But no, it's just the way the game goes. As we do a tight turn, do a little zig, just a little zag. And we're back to what do we do with that field? You know, we have some options. Well, 
I guess we have three options. We could just completely ignore it for the season. I'm going to discount that option. I don't like that option at all. At all. Uh, another option would be we could gamble it. We move on to the month of April. Hopefully nothing gets planted. And then we, you know, then take on some contracts, make a little extra money. You know, and then we buy it, right? So that's, that's a possibility. But there's also a good possibility that that farmer will rudely, rudely, I tell you, uh, decide to plant a crop on the field that we don't want. Now, if it was sunflowers or canola, I'd be happy with either because those are the two crops I'm really focusing on planting to keep our oil mill production pumping because that is really good money. As we've seen recently with the good chunk of money we made from selling sunflower oil at the beginning of March, uh, just from the uh, sunflowers that we harvested from uh, this field. So that's an option. But I'm not a big fan of the risk that we would be taking. So the more and more I look at this field going, you know, I want sits and I want sits bad. So I think our play is what we're going to do is we're going to come into money and we're going to take out a loan for $25,000. Come into our farms, farmland, field 17. $180,504. We're going to buy that. Thank you. That is now ours. So we can, well, we're now pretty darn poor. Let me tell you. Yeah, we're, we're pretty broke at the moment. And we are getting close to filling uh, this stone picker up. So why don't we throw this on a worker? We can grab a, another tractor. We can grab the Massey Ferguson here. And we will leave the fertilizer here because we do need to fertilize that field as well. But we'll quickly grab the trailer with stones so that we can keep that stone picker moving we are not a moment too soon well actually in fact we're probably technically a couple moments too late uh because because on the way over to pick up this trailer uh the stone picker became full so we though since there's a helper in there just need to park right behind it they'll unload this and we're currently at 32 percent and what do we get to 57 Okay. That is uh, probably going to take, you know, we probably will fill up this trailer from uh, this field. Now what we need to do, well, what we should do, because I feel bad as the owner of this farm where I've got all my helpers helping and then if I was just to stand around and watch them help, I'd be like, wow. That's a lot of money going out the door. But what we can do is we can grab the fertilizer. Oh, looks like our cultivator is done over there. So our former wheat field is ready for a crop. But what we're going to do in the meantime, if I can get this properly lined up, is we'll re-grab the fertilizer. We'll make sure we're on full throw and we are not. But while the uh, stone picker is hard at work, we can quickly get this field fertilized. Now we're at 19%. The question is, will that be enough? Because we will need to do three passes. I don't think this is wide enough to get this field in two passes. 
It'd be a shame if we run out. Now, we are going to have to buy more fertilizer, but as you can tell, we are running out of money pretty darn quickly. Uh, we already have a $25,000 loan, which I do think in the month of April, what we will end up doing is taking on some contracts to pay that off. Because even though we do have some products to sell. I, I really don't want to, to sell them because they're at a bad price. I think we have maybe, it's either June or July. Uh, we have, is it soybeans, I think? We have one product in the silo that we can sell uh, for a good price. But it's still a few months away and we have other things to buy, like fertilizer we do need to either buy or lease a planter for the sunflowers because the normal cedar that we have can't do it and this this is going to take a bit for the stone picker to get done as well Okay, so we have a narrow stretch, 7%. Okay, so before we get things started, turn on the help. I think that should do it. Yep, that is perfect. Now, once again, you're noticing the texture change with the stone picker, but that's fine. Now, we definitely don't have enough uh, fertilizer to fertilize our former wheat field. Well, we, we will need to buy a bag. I just don't think we'll do it yet. We'll wait until we are closer to needing to fertilize that uh, particular field. There we go. Oh, didn't check for a train, but we are fine. So what we can do is we can get uh, this back to the farm and then we can take stock because, okay, hang on. What do we have? Stone picker, you need to pick stones. That field is prepped and ready. Our canola field is canoling at this point. That back field that we've done, I think will become a sorghum field. This field is now fully cultivated, but it does need fertilizer. But we can put, uh, I was about to say we put the cultivator away. No, but helper missed a patch, and that's a big patch. Okay, so let's put away fertilizer. Carefully back that up. Take control of the cultivator. Very quick. Fix. There we go. Now we can park that right here. Now, still wondering now whether that grass field was a good call. Um, we will see. Because I'm not exactly sure when we'll have the money to invest in redoing the, the yard. Hmm. Okay, now we can take back over the stone picker. I have brought over the other uh, John Deere so we can uh, get attached to the trailer, which was parked over there. So now it's in a, in theory, a better spot. We'll find out. As stone picker is 74% full, well, 75%. Fine, make a liar of me. But I'm really excited to get this field going. Um, there is space to expand, which 
I don't think we'll end up doing this season because I do want to get the sunflowers planted. And that's going to take a bit of effort to get this uh, field extended. And I think in this case, that's what I want to do. Unlike, oop, a little late on the draw to get the stone picker down. In terms, as opposed to this field over here, because there's a large swath of space. As you can even see where those trees are, it's something we could remove because I believe our property line goes right to the road. Oop. So there are some options. But that will give us at least a year to think about it and actually, obviously more importantly, a year to make some more money. Um, ooh, my goodness. I'm like, dude. Yeah, this is like uh, being in a, in a plane, flying a plane, where just one little degree off doesn't seem like a big deal if you only go a few feet. But one degree off after 10 miles, 100 miles, like, yeah, you're off course. So with, even with this tractor, just a small, small smidge off from where I'd want to be, you got the Elm Creek Drift. But, you know, that's what I'm known for in Farming Simulator 2022, at least in my own, in my own little world. And if you watch my Timberborn series, it's a little worse. Um, I tend to flood quite regularly in Timberborn. So it's a great series. If you haven't uh, seen that game, it's a great uh, city builder uh, with beavers. A lot of fun. It's in early access. They're adding tons of new features. I will leave a link to my playlist here. So if you haven't uh, seen that, highly encourage you to go uh, start watching that series. Uh, see if you enjoy it and maybe even get you to uh, play Timberborn itself. Fun game, very fun game. Way different than Farming Simulator 2022, but yet fun, you know, you know it's an enjoyable city builder versus the, the simulation game. So, okay. So with that said, our near perfect placement of the trailer wasn't quite as perfect as it uh, should be because it's all the way up there, but that's fine. Let's get this down and before you know it, set that on a worker temporarily. So we can come in and grab this tractor. Stone picker should stop. There we go. And it's just far easier for us now to pull up behind. Have them unload this. And we're at 82%. Nice. So I think we'll leave things here. Uh, if you've watched up to this point, I'd like to thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed uh, today's episode. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.